Okay, what was the question? Uh, if there is a massive company, why would another way smaller company try to make a product even close to the bigger company's product? Are we talking about America? Uh, it's a digital app, so I'm, I don't know. Oh well, no, no, no. Is so for digital apps, it actually matters where your your uh, your main location is because that's where your uh, your laws apply. Let's assume it's American. So it's an American company. Why would you create something that's even close to another big competitor? Yes. So this is what's known as piggybacking in the marketing uh, and business world. Um, your copyright covers your exact product. So, in other words, uh, let's let's look at Pokemon versus Pal World. Pokemon is going after uh, a child and teen market. Even though a lot of adults play Pokemon, um, it's ultimately geared towards children. E for everyone. Pal World is not. Pal World is quote unquote Pokemon with guns. Well, since Pow World is targeting an adult audience, right off the bat, it is automatically not the same thing as Pokemon. Just that one bit makes it a different product, even though it's so similar. Now, if they took their designs, then they'd be able to sue off of that. The problem is, is a lot of the designs are not exactly the same, right? So long as the, the, the design is like 90% different, uh, and the only thing is like you might have the same color scheme or maybe you have the same zigzag pattern. If it's like you can't, you're not allowed to copyright t tiny little things in a design. You're allowed to copyright the overall design because that's the product. But people need to have the ability to build something. And the way you build something is you work from little tiny things. So the way that a small app, uh, excuse me, the reason why a small app will make something even close to a bigger app is because they can reasonably argue they're targeting a different market. So what what was the app that originally uh, inspired this? So Sweatcoin. Okay, so Sweatcoin is an app that uh, I guess gives you coins. For give you coins for exercising. For okay. Um, and what is the app that that is the contender? Okay, what does it do? Same thing as our coin. Does it give you a coin for exercising? Uh, yeah, it gives you um, points that you can use for the horse. Okay, for does Sweatcoin own the copyright <laughs> for paying people to run? I don't think so. That's the key question. Do they own the copyright for that? If they don't, then the other app is in the clear. And like I said, if the other app is... Uh, so Sweatcoin might go after like a 90s aesthetic, kind of like Skechers. Yeah. If they go after a different aesthetic, like a cartoon aesthetic, boom, you have a difference. The, the copyright no longer applies. Because that's such a simple mechanic. That's kind of like copywriting the idea of a restaurant. That's copywriting the idea that you can pay for food. It's too simplistic to copyright. Remember, people need the basics in order to build something. Paying for somebody to run is way too simplistic. Yeah, okay. So... so yeah, so you really can't copyright something like that. And if you were to try and go into court, that, I mean, honestly, you'd probably get it thrown out. That's just my opinion, though.